Hey, what's up everybody? It's Flux with FluxWithIt.com and today I'm here to show you some audio and MIDI routing that I use in Machine 2.0 or 2.1 to get uh, external synths working in Machine and specifically this is my modular synth setup. So what I do is I save a group and th these are the settings that I like to do. Now let's go over here. When you click this button here, this gives us our input and output routings. All right, we're on the group level here. Uh, I'm going to go to the sound level. All right, I use my micro brute as the actual master input. Um, so the reason why I do that is when you allow the micro brute to be the master, it lets you use the keys on the mini brute to become. Um, essentially like uh, transposing your, your VCO. So if you want to quickly get to a fifth, you just press you know, the fifth on here and you can, you can do that. Or if you want to jump up an octave, you can. Now I have my micro brute in the micro brute editor. I'll pull this up. So when I pull up my micro brute editor, you'll see how I have it set up MIDI wise. And here we are. You can see that I have it transmitting on channel two and I also have it receiving on channel two. I do this just for separation from other gear, um, you know, and, and you can see my other settings here. So what I'm gonna do is I have the micro brute set as the destination for output of MIDI and it's going to channel two. Now what that means is that anytime I strike a pad, it's gonna send the MIDI out to the micro brute, which then the micro brute will distribute MIDI and CV wherever it needs to go. Uh, I currently have the Arteria Mini Brute CV'd to the micro brute. So when I do that, I have on the audio side, the input, okay, let's go to audio, is going to my external two of my interface, which is where I have my uh, audio source from my modular and basically all of my synths go through my modular synthesizer um, and then back into my interface. So this allows me to run everything kind of through itself and, and do different patching. But it's important that you have your audio set up so that your external source is set up here. If your external source is not set up, you won't be receiving any audio. You'll, you'll be sending and receiving MIDI, but not the audio. So again, um, the sound, I just have the, the MIDI input is coming from channel two and there we go. So now when I play from my Ultra Nova as my MIDI keyboard, I can get my mini brute here and then I'll turn up my, uh, my micro brute. And then I can turn up my modular synth. And if I want to transpose, I can just touch a key on the mini brute here. That's a fourth, fifth. This is now. This is just the um, the mini brute and the modular, and a module little monster VCO. Just the modular. And right now, the way that I have the audio routing is the modular uh, of this section of the modular is going through the mini brute. So I'm able to use the envelopes on the mini brute to control, you know, what my sound is like. And then it's going back out to the modular so that if I want to do something uh, like send, um, send it through the spring reverb, I can do that. <laughs> And I can, of course, knock my spring reverb. So 
So that's how I set up my modular to run through the machine. Now, for my particular setup, on the group level, I always like to keep guitar rig and I have my uh, oscilloscope that I made in Reactor. Now, I use guitar rig. There's nothing loaded up on here, just the uh, inbuilt tuner. And the reason I do that is, you know, it's analog, so sometimes you got to tune your oscillators. So I can just, you know, hold down a key and bring up my square wave. And because I've transposed, of course, it's on a G now because I'm on the fifth. And if I go back, there's my C, and I can adjust it. And then, of course, if I want to adjust my... Um, my modular is VCO. And of course, if I want to adjust my micro brute, I just turned these on so they're not really warmed up yet. Another tip with the way that I have this set up is I have, um, I'm not sending MIDI from the Mini Brute. And the reason why is because I want to use the transposing. Um, but what I am doing is, excuse me, I'm not, I'm not receiving MIDI into the Mini Brute. Uh, I can send it. So the reason why I do that is because I want to transpose and I want to be able to use my mod wheel for both filters at the same time. Uh, so I have them on the same MIDI channel so that when I sweep the mod wheel on the Mini Brute, I'm actually sweeping both 12 dB filters at the same time, which is giving me a 24 dB slope. Um, so it's, you know, essentially I can lock the two Steiner Parker filters together and get really nice sweeps. So So especially when I'm using the um, the micro brute and the modular, it'll go through the full 24 dB. And of course, if I let it scream, I can do that. And of course, that gives me the freedom to play with the resonance on the micro brute separately. That's pretty damn gnarly. So that's why I set it up like that. And I really just keep the... Um, I keep the scope on here more just for fun because I like to see what I'm doing with my waves sometimes. So, very interesting stuff, um, fun to play with. Anyway, this is Flux with FluxWithIt.com. Please, please, please like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. And don't forget to check out the, uh, the machine expansion packs that I've been releasing through BigFishAudio.com. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to you know, hit me up. Also, join the Producers Hangout Facebook group. Uh, we do, you know, our show, so check it out. Peace.